Yo, this card 98k and superior build is so good that I dropped 35 kills and wrecked the whole Vondale lobby. The card 98k has really good ADS speed and great bullet velocity while the superior has super nice strafe speed and also really good accuracy and damage. With my card 98 build, I like to have a fast ADS speed while also having a lot of bullet velocity. So with this build, I'm going to start off with the muzzle. And lately, I've been running the Sonic Suppressor because... As you can see, this thing gives you a good bit of uh, more damage range and the bullet velocity is pretty good. And the muzzle is also not really giving you too much of a negative on the ADS speed, so it feels really nice to use. Um, on this build, I've been running a longer barrel just to get that extra bullet velocity and damage range for those longer shots that you want to hit. Because sometimes some of these uh, gunfights, you're not really going to get the damage that you need to get without having these type of uh, barrels on so on this one I've been going with the I'm not even going to pronounce that but <laughs> the 762 long barrel um, for the sight of my choice um, a lot of people are using the the range collar but I personally do not like the reticle on it so for my choice I've been using the XPX 80 this thing feels so nice and you can also have the zoom on 6.6 .6 or the 8 time zoom so it's a really nice uh Nice little addition to it while also having a really great reticle. Um, I've been using the high grain rounds because, as I always say, the bullet velocity is really important on these sniper rifles uh, to account for bullet drop and just, you know, getting the shot where you needed to get to on time. So I always, always, always try to put that on there. And uh, the laser is the last attachment for this car 98. It does have the ability for people to see you while you're ADS, but it doesn't really matter that much because if you're really hitting your shots with this thing, they won't even have time to, to even shoot back. So it doesn't really matter too much. Now this superior build I'm about to give you guys is by far the best one in the game. I've tried a lot of different setups, but none of them even come close to this one. So for the muzzle, we're going to go with the Zim and Compensated. It gives you a lot of extra recoil control and it feels so nice to use without giving you too much of an ADS penalty. Next, we're going to go with the ammo. I've been using a high grain round on most of my subs for like the past couple of seasons and that bullet velocity actually helps a lot. So definitely try to use the high grain rounds on this setup. Next, I've been using a sight. The NIDAR just feels like the best one to me. Um, I like to run a sight because the extra accuracy definitely helps in a lot of gunfights. You're missing a lot less shots and it just feels so nice to use. So definitely try that out. And uh, on this build, I've been running a stock lately, which is a different stock that's uh, different from the one that most people have been using. A lot of people have been using the rescue one, but I changed to the jack cut though, and it really, really helps with that straight speed and movement. It feels so nice gliding around the map with this thing. So definitely try it out for your boy. And last but not least, we got to have the extra ammo. You need to have this 40 mag on here because this thing runs out of ammo kind of quickly. So if you don't have this on, you might want to now. Now let's get into this gameplay so you can really see how good this loadout is. I don't know what build it is on this ground loot gun, but this shit is so stiff. That shit has literally no recoil. What the fuck build is this? The MTZ? That's a... A Bruin? I don't know. This might be a straight... Uh... Fucking recoil bill because this shit has literally no recoil No, you didn't. Hunt them down. Gas is inbound. Enemy 
Jesus. There's another one behind me, I think. I, I thought there was another one behind me. on the roof friendly loadout drops on the way enemies are dropping into the area watch the skies enemy buy station deployed I don't know. Don't make this a habit, yeah? Enemies dropping into the AO. Down. Yes, your ego tower is really going to kill me, buddy. Squadmates back on station. Good work. back on station.
There's a dude right here. In your staircase, in your staircase. I just shot directly at him. There's no way in fucking hell I just missed. I'm shooting directly. That's uh, like now nah, I'm not just my hit registration is just shit right now. Enemy UAV in the area. Yeah. Get to the safe zone. Oh. Pretty sure I didn't get that kill because the gas stole it. I feel like if they're literally half dead. I can get 30. You can hold them out. Is that a collateral? I think so.
Never mind. Get a shriek or something. No, 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 no. Fuck. I already had some. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, he's still in that water, is not he? I think I got an assist, but oh shit! Requesting close air, target mark. Huh? A sniper in front of him? He's on the. Ah, oh, he's. Uh, right to your left. Your left. Your left. On the wall, on the wall, right in front of you. You got gas moving in. Ain't no flares or nothing. You got a PA still. I think he went to go buy me back. W teammate. You might want to put that PA. One more. Jeez. 